The first great player in Broncos history has passed away. Floyd Little, the franchise's star during years of struggles in the 1960s and 70s, died Friday night following a battle with a rare form of cell cancer. He was 78, universally beloved by his alma mater Syracuse, by Broncos country and by contemporaries in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Little's passion for football, energy for helping others and overall enthusiasm for life created unforgettable memories. Floyd Little was a true hero of the game, Pro Football Hall of Fame President David Baker said. He was a man of great integrity, passion and courage. His contributions off the field were even greater than his amazing accomplishments he did on it. Floyd's smile, heart and character epitomized what it meant to have a Hall of Fame life. Little, who resided in the Las Vegas area, began chemotherapy treatments last May and his former Syracuse teammate and longtime friend, Pat Kaloran, started a GoFundMe to help cover the medical expenses. On November 21, Kaloran announced Little had been placed in hospice. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a statement Little, was not only a Hall of Fame running back, he was a Hall of Fame person. Faith, family and football were the pillars of his life. I was so fortunate to know Floyd and witnessed firsthand the impact he had on others. Little is a member of the College Football Hall of Fame 1983, the Broncos inaugural Ring of Fame Class 1984, and the Pro Football Hall of Fame 2010. Little joined the Broncos in their eighth year of existence 1967, and was their bright light as the team struggled to become competitive. A five-time Pro Bowl selection and one-time All-Pro, Little played all of his 117 games for the Broncos, retiring in 1975 with 6,323 yards rushing and a combined 53 rushing receiving return touchdowns. Without question, Floyd was one of the greatest Broncos of all time and an unforgettable part of our history, Broncos President CEO Joe Ellis said in a statement Saturday. He rightfully earned the nickname, The Franchise, for his profound impact on this organization, helping put the Broncos on the pro football map in the early days. Littles No. 44 is one of only three jerseys retired by the Broncos, joining quarterback John Elway, No. 7, and quarterbacks Frank Tripica, Peyton Manning, No. 18. Little is survived by his wife, Deborah, three children, Mark, Christy and Kira, and five grandchildren. Kevin Rivoli, the Associated Press former Syracuse and Denver Broncos running back Floyd Little acknowledges the crowd during a halftime ceremony to retire the No. 44 jersey in Syracuse, NY, Saturday, November 12, 2005. Connection with Ernie Davis Floyd Little was born July 4, 1942, in New Haven, Connecticut, and attended Hill House High School in New Haven and Bordentown Military Institute in New Jersey. He was six when his father died of cancer. Little was recruited by the United States Military Academy, led by Gen.